good, but I'm Win. better.
Hello everyone, I'm Xro, joined here by Force Armor. We uh, we normally only kick off commentary for singles, but my boys, Krusty Ass Tims and Billy, in grand finals with a reset over Guapa and Zamba, quite an upset, first seeds. I don't even know what Krusty uh, Ass Tims and Billy were seeded, but clearly coming out, you know, they lost 3-0 in um, winner's finals, and now game five, just won. We're gonna be getting into set two, oh and God. then Sinor F-Smash closed out the first set and started this set so strong. Already, I mean, uh, Krusty Astims and Billy right now, they've got they've got good momentum, not only winning game five, but also game four, so they're on a, a two-win streak already. Yeah, and I think uh, a huge thing too is both those games, they were down and then got some clutch moments, you know, so they're feeling like they can win from pretty much anything, which means, like, even if something unfortunate happens, they're going to be confident going into it. Ooh, right there, not realizing that the wolf flash would hit. Yep, but even better for them right now, they've already got a stock lead, and Guap getting to those red percents on his second stock. Yeah, stock lead and the stock being taken off Zamba, especially who's normally been the person who's been holding on to the stocks for the longest, you know? So to take that off, it could be so big for uh, the momentum game out of their hands. A lot of scrambles here at the ledge right now. Oh, this could be a wolf stock. No, not Ooh, quite. I'm a little surprised. I wonder if back throw would have killed, actually. Back air still not going to do it. I think uh, that wasn't quite the sweet spot there for Incineroar that time, though. Kind of a dimmed if you do, dimmed if you don't. I think F throw also maybe could have done it. Yeah, that percent Incineroar. Oh, that's a dead Lucina and Billy at 160%. Three stocks still. Both the enemy team on their last stock. Blue team is looking really good right now. Yeah, they're playing super hot. Like, I feel like. Uh, winners finals they showed some a bit of like fear I guess or lack of confidence because you know they're fighting Zamba and stuff and they're not really expected to be here but now they're playing with full confidence just give to Zamba at 20% this is looking like a wrap and go into game two we were just barely missing the team combo right now but I mean 2v1 four stocks to one it's it's looking rough for Gua especially with like how well they're synergizing off each other and how heavy these characters are I mean this is I would say it's literally impossible. Like, there is no world where this comeback happens. Uh -huh. You can quote me on that. Yeah, I mean, these are two characters on the blue team that you really have to work for kills against. I mean, oh. whew. And they don't have to work for kills on <laughs> <Right>? you. <laughs> Especially, like, you know, that's the thing is the the cheese potential on a Rob Incineroar team is through the roof. We saw the Tipper Incineroar F Smash took an early stock at the start of this game, and we saw a Rob Dare Gimp Lucina, one of like the <laughs> like most consistent recoveries at like 27%, and that's always just a threat. The Gyro, such a good thing for Wolf um, against Wolf particularly, because that zone that he Wolf flashes can be really well interrupted. It mm -hmm. goes at a similar angle. Ooh, and Joker coming out. That's a good doubles character. Yeah, another another uh, character swap from Zama coming out right now. Uh, I think this is, what, the third character we've seen thus far? Uh, yeah, I don't know if he's ever gone the same. I'm actually, I will confidently say he has not gone the same yeah. character <laughs> twice. Uh, this point, you know, he was doing all the sorties, uh, and now it looks like he's like, okay, no more games. I'm gonna play a really pro game doubles he's character. Putting and, in work right yeah, now. It is working. That being said, Billy and Krusty S Tim's kind of have been starting a good amount of games down and then bring it back, so we'll have to see. Yeah, good recovery there by Tim's. Uh, went kind of uninterrupted. He had to he had to air dodge his way back to the ledge. Oh, and this is bad. Oh, okay. That's a That's dead a wolf. Super dead wop. Billy's, oh. Billy's going to be making it stock free. No one's challenging him up there. Yeah, and that was good. Unfortunately, I feel like Krusty ass Tim's was a little distracted by his teammate flying in the sky. Got Wolf back air. Zamba, I think, was smart to just totally disengage from Rob once he realized how high up he was and just focus on 2v1ing. Mm -hmm. Something that's so important from doubles and something Zamba and Guap have been really good at. They will just disengage and try to take 2v1s. And there's one of those big things that makes Joker such a threat in doubles is that huge counter. It's hitting like the whole stage. And, and 
on top of that, his ability, like, your, with how much scrapping goes on doubles, Arsene becomes such a realistic, like, threat. And wow, that was a really, really well-spaced fair. Krusty has Tim's down on his last stock, looking Ooh. like the Joker is working. The ability to just have the speed to chase down both these characters. Kind of just getting a little bit outclassed. Yeah, something that we're seeing now is, oh, nice jab reset, is, like you were saying, the, uh, the speed difference is now Red Team really gets to put on all of the pressure on these really kind of slower, more defensive characters. Yeah, that's the thing. We we're talking about the survivability. There comes a cost to that. Um, both these characters, you know, they, they can't run across the stage to support one each other. You know, they kind of have to both win their 1v1s for the team to work. And when that doesn't happen, it can fall apart like this. Yeah. Not quite undoable, but I mean, Zamba's sitting at zero on his second stock right now. Guap still sitting? Okay. Just kidding. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I was going to say before uh, Billy interrupted me with doing what I was going to say, but they need gimps uh, if they want to win this. And a lot of them, let's get two more. Uh, yeah. That's that's truly like their best plan of action, you know. Or Incineroar, if you can get a nice meaty like revenge going, that's something. But they're going to have to be really diligent with what hits they throw out. Because if their other teammates there support them, oh my god. <laughs> I got scared with their other lips off stage. Once again, making it back to stage. Oh, oh throw invincibility, not saving him there. And now Billy is stuck in a 2v1 against very healthy Guap and Zamba with the Arsene. Basically a 3v1 yeah. and untackable. And that, that's what I was saying. Like, if you're both at that high of a percent, you can't just get the normal punishes you do. Like, right there with that grab. Honestly, I think an F throw from Krusty has would have been better because that's a swirling hurt box around him. Mm -hmm. Would have given Billy more time to come down because, um, yeah, you, a Sinor's thro throws are definitely not. Joker, on the other hand, has really quick tosses and dubs. Mm -hmm. Another reason he's so good. But Sinor's throws obviously are super powerful but very slow. So at that high of a percent, you got to be really diligent. Really good down here, though. I love that. Oh, and the link. Zamba going in with the link, okay. Yeah, this is a, a Zamba staple. I will say his Joker is really good too. I've played it in friendlies before. Definitely a character he like takes a bit more seriously. That almost was tragic. Or hype, depending on who you're rooting for. <laughs> for me it was hype. Oh, oh okay. Oh, some unfortunate scrambles happening right now at the left ledge again here. Guap being sent off stage. Yo! Oh. We take that is what Billy and uh, Billy and Krusty Essence are thinking right there. Yeah, just once again, you win these games by getting your cheese, and that's some cheese. Yeah. That is some cheese. A very insanely strong slow dash attack. And a little more cheese just just on top of it. Oh, any punish? Oh, couldn't get anything really big. But this kill right here could be huge. Not able to get the dash grab after uh, Zomba's down air. That's the thing, another thing, um, Zamba, so aware of Rob, you know, and everything Rob does, you know, not going to really get tricked by those super high Rob recoveries um, flying in the sky. He knows I can just up be that with Link, and he's not going to be ready for it. Oh, oh no. no. Another team combo, getting Tim's down to his last stock. And right here, their survivability is going to have to come out super hard. You're yeah. just going to have to... Only take your pockets where you think you can get a kill. Yeah, Ooh, I like could, that back throw. You could even see uh, a little bit ago, Red was holding center stage. Uh, Billy was threatening with projectiles, but Tins was just kind of running back and forth, looking for those entrances, but not finding a good opening. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's hard to take too much initiative when you're that slow, you know? Mm -hmm. So Incineroar has to kind of hope he can find something lucky, like while staying at a close range, because he can't really run from across the stage, but like <laughs> nice that F-throw. Oh. Oh, oh, no. Had to save, have him. To save him. That's rough. And if he just got the sweet spot in that fair, it wouldn't have been the case. It would have just been a dead wolf. So that's super rough. Okay, you're going to have to kill Wolf right here. Oh, but not able to make it back. Another 2v1 situation. And this time, even healthier than last time. Truly. <laughs> he's going to, yeah, he's going to go for something deep, but Billy flying away, smart. Yeah, really just rock in a hard place. You've got Link ledge trapping to worry about, Wolf covering the roll distance. 
Yeah, that in these games have been really contingent on Zamba getting these like kills. Get, mm -hmm. You know, so when you when he was playing Lucina in game one, you know, Lucina does not really have that capability of wiping stocks super early unless you get a gimp or something. But Link and Joker on the other hand did not have any trouble taking early stocks, and that's gonna be so huge against these two heavyweights. Is if you can just cut off one stock early, their whole game plan kind of crumbles. Mm -hmm. Alright, and I think Zamba picking the Palutena this time. And I think this this won't, I mean, it's still obviously a great character, but might be a bit better for Billy and um, Krusty S. Tims because there's no super early like cheese factor in Palutena. She gets her stocks relatively honest. Yeah, very, very consistent uh, top tier. All right, Guap putting on some good damage on Billy right now. Tim's still sitting pretty low in percentages. Ooh. But as I say that, another Guap combo. And that's the thing, I think Incineroar is so slow, he like can't even punish that down throw from Palutena. <laughs> but he can't do that. He can't get the, tippers. No, there's, there's pros and cons to everything. Oh, that's... Oh, that's super unfortunate. Guap wanted to punish the, uh, oh. the chop. And I think Billy has kind of... I think sometimes he sees people off stage and he, he goes a bit all in. And it can definitely be punished sometimes. Surprise, I didn't spike. All right, going to be putting Guap off stage again. Ooh, nice big kill. He cannot let Zamba live that much longer. Ooh, I like the attempt, but let's just get back on stage safely. But that's the thing. That's plenty of time for Palutena to juggle uh, Incineroar with no interruptions. A little bit of a lead right now for the blue team. Guap getting to those dangerous percentages, but Zamba's still sitting at a relatively fresh stock. Great air dodge. Okay. okay. Oh, great gyro. I think um, Zamba, or Billy was aware that um, Zamba was going to be kind of hovering there, trying to punish the Incineroar, so just gyroed in that space. And getting the stock, that's so huge. If you can just hold it up, I was going to say, okay, mm, never mind. I okay. was going to say, if Incineroar can just hold on to the stock, it can be super huge. But just as I said that, everything falls apart for the blue team. Yeah, a solid anti-air up tilt from Zamba. And also, Billy was uh, getting down to his potential last stock. Yeah, the Billy stock really was the super big decider in this momentum because that's such an early stock to lose for Rob. I want to say like it was barely over 100. He got tipper back aired by Wolf, you know, Wolf's strongest like aerial. Right, Zamba still holding on to his second stock into those higher percentages. You know, oh, definitely not something that the blue team has been wanting. The blue team has been really thriving off of those early kills like we were talking about. Yeah, if they want to win, I think they, uh, like this 2v1 opportunity right here against Guap is going to be huge. Okay, if we can just, if Guap can die off stage here, oh, I like the attempt. Tim's wasn't able to get the Alolan whip on Guap that low. Now, very scary situation. Yeah, that was a, the most Hail Mary side B I think I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Truly. I don't even think I would have killed if it no, connected. But truly, no one there. And yeah, you know, in that 2v1, how are you landing as Rob on a Palutena up air and then a wolf in the back and drift yeah. forward? You know, it's really rough stuff. Really great showing, though, from Billy and Krusty S. Tims. Definitely not seated to be here. Got some good wins. Beat Solster and SPT. Uh, beat Mono and um, forget who Mono's teammate was. Uh, and yeah. And even got the Pret, reset. Pret. Pret. And got the reset. Yeah, and most importantly, got that reset. Especially after losing 3 0 in winners' finals. That's so huge. You know, clearly they were playing on point. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think it's just, you know, once that momentum started shifting back in favor of the red team, it was, it just started to snowball. Yeah, and I think um, on the reset, the flaws of having two heavyweights kind of began to show when they couldn't really deal with each other getting like 2v1s because mm -hmm. they don't have the speed to catch up. It's a real, speed is so important in doubles because you need to be able to support your teammates, and if you don't have that, it's just really rough. Yeah, you could see uh, occasionally. Billy would throw out a laser, like mm -hmm. one of the fully charged lasers, to combo break uh, Tim's on the other side. But I mean, that still comes at a cost. You're still taking that damage. Yeah, it's a and lot. Of occasionally damage too. being put off stage.
Yeah, hundred percent. I think that's. I don't think their team comp was exactly you know bad or anything, but it could definitely you got to be both so on point in your one v ones to where you can't let your to where your teammates don't have a chance to get two v ones. Yeah, know? and I think that just sometimes that doesn't work consistently. But three ones still they got a game, great stuff. But um, we're gonna, are we going to a quick break? Or are we just going straight into singles? Yeah, we're gonna go to All a right. quick break. So yeah, stay, stay tuned, tuned stay for tuned. for singles.